thought about 100 miles in the mountains at high altitude. It scared me, it really did. And I thought, you know, to feel alive again, I gotta do something that scares me. And Melitz, oh. good combination. And Melitz oh. knocks it down. Melitz oh, is over, over. When you get used to fighting in a cage for 15 years, you're addicted to adrenaline to a certain extent. But I would say that this is, for me anyway, much more difficult than, than fighting because I'm fighting myself. The starting line's at 10,200 feet and it goes up from there. So within four or five miles, your legs are gonna be hurting, your butt's gonna be hurting, you're gonna be breathing hard and lungs gonna be on fire. And that's as good as you're gonna feel all day. <laughs> One of the things about this race that is essential to success is you've got to be mentally tough. You gotta have an iron in your head. And there's not hardly anybody I can think of who's more mentally tough than Pat. In terms of the group that I'm lucky enough to, to be involved with, the, the Leadville Six from the Quad Cities, it's the kind of people you really want to surround yourself with. It can change really your mentality overall. I would say the hardest part of the training for me has been trying to wrap my mind around running the distances and the times that, that these guys are used to. You're going to eventually confront a point where every instinct in your body and your mind is telling you that you can't do it, that you physically can't do it. And it just takes an insane amount of stubbornness, mental toughness, stupidity, whatever you want to call it, to just move forward anyway. It helps to be mentally strong, but it, it's even better to just be out of your head entirely. I don't consider myself a runner at all. I never have, which maybe sounds weird after running some of the distances I have with these guys. There were days where I woke up to go to training and my body was trashed, my calves were destroyed, my knees were, were wrecked, but my mind told me I had to go. And then there were other days where my body felt perfect and my mind was saying, man, I really don't want to go. It's that constant, you know, of grabbing that rope and tugging each other along the mind and the body to get to where you're going. Month by month, my confidence in him has just been on a vertical climb. And uh, the things that we've done out in Colorado here this past week just leaves no doubt in my mind that he's gonna have a phenomenal race. Their limits are a lot farther up there and out there than what they think they are. And they can learn that here. They can learn that in Leadville. You just don't quit. My goal for a finishing time is less than 30 hours, the, the limit of 30 hours. I really don't care if I come in at you know, 29 hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds. I don't, I just want to get across it. Look, if I, I roll an ankle, destroy a knee, fall down a mountain, and don't finish, it's been an incredible year either way. It's been one of the best years of my life, uh, but I fully, fully plan and intend on, on getting across.